The A-star algorithm uses an admissible heuristic to optimistically find the optimal solution. An admissible heuristic is one that never overestimates the cost of the minimum cost path from a node to the goal node. In our case, heuristics we choose cannot overpower the distance metric. Each grid on this map represents a possible item sequence path. The agent will expand different paths based on the heuristic until all the items are picked up in one of the paths. Teal grid in this case means the path is getting explored. If we say the yellow grid is the optimal path, it will be the first path to finish getting all items in that sequence shall return. The first heuristic we try with our A-star algorithm is just distance. Since distance cannot overpower distance, it is an admissible heuristic. Items close to many other items indicates a potential for less distance needed to travel if those items are expanded. We built the A-star cluster heuristic around that ideal. The cluster heuristic acts as the sum of all distances to other items from each item divided by the number of items times 0.05. Since we don't want to have the agent picking up high cluster items across the map, we make it play a small role and still heavily rely on distance. Note. We cannot prove admissibility of this heuristic, but it provides the optimal path in all four map variants. Here is a graph of our results. As assumed, BFS scaled very poorly in execution time. Greedy had a higher likelihood of finding the optimal solution in lower item maps. The Greedy Q learning did well in lower item maps and okay in higher item maps, but did not manage to find the optimal path before BFS in the middle item maps. A star heuristic 1 did the best in all the maps except the highest item map where heuristic 2 won, indicating the clustering heuristic works very well with high density of items, especially considering an extra clustering value calculation is made for every item in this heuristic.